Hubert Sanders here with WCI. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. One of the questions that you may be asking yourself is why can't the S&P 500 uh, make new highs because the Dow's been making new high, new high, new high. What's up with the S&P? Uh, one main reason the S&P moves a little bit slower is um, number one, all of us pros, pro traders, look more closely at the S&P 500 than we do at number two, which is the 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 mom and pops or the public looks at the Dow. Okay, now the S and P five hundred has five hundred stocks on it, so it's a better averaging effect. The Dow only has thirty, so you could just have you could have twenty eight of the stocks move and on to the downside, and you could have two big movers to the upside, and that'll kind of skew it even positive. Oddly enough, if it's a big move in those two, S and P five hundred, you have to have basically everything moving in the same direction. It's just a, it's really an, an average numbers thing. So that's why most of us look at the S and P five hundred more than we do the Dow. Now, if you look at technical reasons here, S and P five hundred, um, you've got about an eight and a half, eight point five to nine percent move, and then after that happens, is it tends to come down here and tag the fifty day moving average or the two hundred day period moving average. So we're back up there in that lofty territory where we're an eight to nine percent. So we're getting ready to roll back over here and test this area around fifteen zero nine. Okay. And if we zoom in here and look at it technically, let's take a look at it even closer. Here you've had the all time high, right? And then you had a move lower, traded sideways, and then you had a probe slightly above there and now it's selling off today. So for the next three to five days, look for it to gradually uh, move its way down here to 1509. Now it's going to be interesting to see how it acts when it gets down here. Is it going to trade for a little bit? Is it going to bounce off of there? Or is it going to die and head back down here to 1417? So uh, always good things to look at. Always compare the S&P to the Dow and take a look at what is the distance that the price action is away from its 200 day moving average and its 50 day moving average. Good luck. Hope it helps. I'll see you on the next video.